It is nice to be living in the house I grew up in. I wish my parents weren't sent to a retirement home. Mum. Olivia, what's wrong? Are you sure you don't mind looking after this naughty little madam while I'm at work? Absolutely, I'm always happy to help my children when they need it. Uh, shall I go and get you a room? I beg your pardon? Rose, was that a bit of cheek I heard? Rose, what have I told you about making the dirty joke? Not because it's naughty. Oh Rose you naughty girl. Making a dirty joke. You're six years old, that is highly inappropriate. What are you gonna do? For starters here's what you're going to do. You are going to behave yourself. I will not have you being naughty, is that clear? Clear as a bell. Just so you know, if you do misbehave, you will be punished for it. Also clear as a bell. Good girl. Say goodbye to mummy and come and sit down. Bye mummy. Bye, sweetheart. See you later. I love you. I love you too, mummy. Have a seat, darling. Naughty me. What have you done? I'm not wearing a nappy for starters. I think I can trust you to use the toilet. What if I don't use the toilet? It'll be a nappy all, so whenever you need to go just get yourself to the toilet. Hello grandma. Hello Laura. What brings you here? I was just in the neighborhood and thought I'd drop in for a visit. I'm always glad to see my grandchildren. I see you're looking after Rose while Aunt Olivia is at work. I am indeed. Don't you have? What is that horrible smell? Rose, you haven't weed yourself have you? Stand up and let me check. Turn around. Yes she has. Look at me Rose. I'm sorry. It's too late for that. I'm going to have to put a nappy on you now. That's very naughty. How dare you wet yourself on my sofa. Naughty girl Rose. Lie down and I will put you a nappy on. Now, you are so naughty for wetting yourself. So very naughty. I thought I could trust you to be a big girl. Mum, why are you putting a nappy on Rose? She wet herself. Rose. If you wet yourself then that's naughty isn't it? Okay. No Rose, at your age wetting yourself is very naughty, you ought to know better. No wonder you keep ending up in nappies. Sit there and think about what you've done. Naughty girl, I'm very cross with you. Naughty little girl. What's going on? Your naughty cousin here thinks it's appropriate to wet herself. She's wearing a nappy because of it. Here you are. Here I am. Molly, look at me. Somebody didn't make her bed this morning. That's naughty, Molly you're 15 now. You should know how to be tidy. Are you cross with me? No, I'm just very disappointed that my daughter doesn't care about her bedroom. I care about my room, obviously. Otherwise I'd have given it one of those expensive makeovers. Molly Rose Sanchez. What did you just say to me? I said if I didn't care about my room I'd have made it over. Maybe if you weren't deaf and stupid you'd have heard me. Molly. I've never heard you speak to your mother like that before. What is wrong with you? That's very naughty. That does it. I have had it with your attitude. How dare you speak to me like that? You are grounded for three weeks. When we get home you are going to your room. I'll leave you to it mum. And you need to change Rose's nappy. Time to change your nappy now, Rose. Let's get this wet nappy off you, clean you up and put a clean nappy on you now. What's next? Well, that depends on your behavior. If you're going to be good there's more fun to be had. If you're going to be naughty, you'll go in time out. You've got to be fucking joking. What have I told you about that language? You're very naughty to use it again after being warned. Sit on the sofa and think about what you've done. Naughty girl, mummy will hear about this. Hi grandma. Hello James and Millie. 
my two lovely young adult grandchildren. Seeing as we are 18 now, yes, we are young adults. How are you anyway? Very busy, as I'm looking after this naughty little madam here while Olivia's at work. What did she do this time? First, she wet herself on the sofa, for which I put her in nappies. And then she swore after having been warned about it. That's very naughty of you, Rose. I'd have thought that at six years old you know better. I do. Rose, was that a fib I just heard? No. It sounded like one. Rose, are you being naughty again? No, Mummy. She's fibbing to you, Olivia. She is being naughty. As a matter of fact she's been very naughty all day. I even had to put nappies on her. Rose Amber Sanchez, look at me right now. How dare you think it's appropriate to be naughty for Grandma while I'm at work. That is not what I expect to hear. I can tell you have a nappy on, because it's wet and messy. By the smell in the air. Lay down and we'll change your nappy. And then get you home to bed. Who's the naughty girl who didn't change her daughter's nappy properly this morning? What are you talking about? Olivia, you forgot to put a clean nappy on Rose when you got her up this morning. That's very naughty of you, you know she can't stay clean and dry. Naughty mummy. Very naughty mummy, as punishment for forgetting to put your daughter into a clean nappy this morning, I'm putting you in nappies for a month. You and Rose will remain here for a month. Both getting your nappies changed when needed. So this means you're going to put a nappy on me? I don't have any choice in the matter. I have to put a nappy on you. So lay down and we'll put your nappy on. Knickers come off. And nappy goes on. You deserve every minute of that nappy going on. Naughty girl. I can change my own nappies. No you won't. I'm your mother you will 